This week, we've got new skins for Minecraft players, Doom players, and Assassin's Creed players. We've got 12 brand new skins to go through this week, so let's get a move on. First up, we have the Molten Visage Wooden Door, and what a fan favorite this is. It is so good to have this skin pack, and on a wooden door, no less. It looks absolutely fantastic. This skin does glow in the dark, and it looks so, so good during the day or during nighttime. I'm so excited that we have this skin back this week. So if you're a fan of Doom, please make sure you get this door. Up next, and we have the camouflage helmet, vest, and kilt. I would heavily recommend you get this skin if your dream in life is to be a barnyard animal. Obviously, there's not a lot of scenarios in Rust where you can camouflage yourself as cattle unless you happen to be in a 50-man Zerg. Next up, and we have the Dead Souls Metal Door. Now, there's not too much going on with this skin. It's not a glow-in-the-dark. It's not my favourite skin I've ever seen on a metal door. It does look like someone just really, really likes Pirates of the Caribbean. So if this is your thing, then this skin is for you. Moving on, and we have the Blackout Sar. Now, this is the perfect gun for any of you that like playing the sneaky kind of play or already have the Blackout set. Has a nice contrast here between black and the little hints of red that you can see on the gun, which does not glow in the dark, but that's great because the whole point of this skin is to not be seen. I really like the texture of this gun. I think it's got some great little details on it. So overall, very nicely designed and I hope we don't see the end of the Blackout collection anytime soon. Now we have the Pixel Hoodie and Pants collection. I actually quite liked this texture, however, I'm not a massive fan of it for the Hoodie and Pants. I like that they've gone with this Minecraft theme, it just doesn't seem to pull it off for me. It's not glow in the dark, which is great, it just seems to work better with weapons than it does for the clothing. We've also seen a return of the Black Gold collection this week with the boots. As you can see here, this is what we're looking like so far of the collection. Looking very, very nice so far. Make sure you pick these up. Speaking of boots, and we have the Azul boots this week to help with the Azul collection. Nice finish off for the collection so far. Doesn't glow in the dark. Uh, so if you've already got this collection, make sure that you finish it off with the boots this week. Now, last but not least, we have the Knights Templar chest plate and face mask. So for all of you out there who've been dying to start jousting within the game while riding horseback, your dreams have now come true. Although to me, it looks like this is an unofficial partnership for the new Assassin's Creed game. You can now begin to follow other players while dressed as an assassin. And I think for all of us, that's secretly what we've wanted this entire time. Hi guys, just want to say a massive thank you for making it through to this video. I really appreciate it. Hopefully I will catch you next week.